Hello dear friends. You're welcome to our YouTube channel. Please do well to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you do not miss out on any of our content. Like and share this video as well. God bless you. This movie series is so interesting, so irresistible, thank God I made it home on time to watch for as long as I can before I go to bed. Oops. It's 11.30 p.m. Wow. I should have gone to bed at 9 p.m., then wake up to pray at 12 a.m. Gosh. Okay. I just continue seeing this movie till 12 a.m. and then go and pray. 2 a.m. How did the time go so fast? This series is so captivating, let me just see it till the end and then I pray and go to sleep. What? 7 a.m. How? How did I stay up seeing a movie from 6.30 p.m. last night till 7 a.m. this morning? Oh Hannah, you didn't end up praying. I need to catch some sleep now, thank God, today is Saturday, I can sleep for as long as I want. Hannah, I am the angel assigned by God to you. He has given me charge over you as you journey through life, to intervene when and where necessary and to help you not to be swallowed up by the battles of life. Hannah there's a plot against you at your workplace by those who hate you. They plan to blackmail you in a way that you'd get in trouble and also lose your job. If you can pray fervently against their plan against you, it would not come to pass, but would backfire against them. I have been sent to fight this battle for you, but I can't, if you are not praying. Oops. It's past 3 p.m. I slept so long, I need to go find myself something to eat in the kitchen, I'm so hungry. Hold on, I think I had a dream when I slept. What was this dream? Okay, I think I saw an angel, he said some things to me, oh I can't remember the things he said anymore. Gosh, I can't even remember the faintest detail of the things he said. I don't think I'd remember this dream and it seems so important. I don't remember my dreams anymore these days, it's just so annoying. Let me go get something to eat now anyway. I know it's late in the night, but we have to be discreet about this and get out of here as soon as possible. Alright Fred, so what's the plan? I have been able to hack into Hannah's personal workplace computer, I have all her login accesses and codes. So we'd use her digital signature to sign company checks for withdrawals from the company account. I made a fraudulent account to put the funds, that will not be traceable with the help of one of my friends who works at the bank. Wow. Wouldn't that be going too far? That's too much. I know we don't like Hannah because of the promotions and favor she has received from the management, but doing something that might land her in jail would be taking things too far, if you ask me. If she'd only lose her job here that is still alright by me. Who cares Kate? Do I look like I care? If she likes let her go to jail, in fact let her even die, it's none of my business as long as she is nowhere around this office premises anymore. I'd even rather she died, if I had my way. I don't merely dislike Hannah, I hate her with a strong passion. I do too. I mean she is the most preferred person by those who matter on this job. She is smart, intelligent, and hardworking, and who says the rest of us are not. I am just scared at this plan. Just trust me Kate, everything will go well planned and come out fine. Well, if you say so. So I'd head over to Hannah's workspace now, log into her account and sign some dubious invoices. We would not do it at once, but little by little over time, so it would appear as though she had been stealing subtly from the company. I'd do it all in time ahead of the next company audit and since I oversee the audit unit, it will be very easy to implicate her. She'd not be able to escape this on all front, with the CO, the legal counsel and all. Wait, but would this even be easy to believe seeing how the boss, and the whole management, and staff love, and trust Hannah? It would be super easy to believe. Hannah is the head of the finance department, so if we blackmail her with stealing the company's money it would be easier to believe than if we were to blackmail someone who doesn't even work at finance, let alone head it. Don't worry about the love and trust they have for her, this is company finance at stake here. No organization favors anyone above their financial integrity. Wow. I fear you Fred. This was well planned. Ha ha ha. No one messes with Fred. I'm a bad guy. Okay, just watch around for me, while I head over to Hannah's workspace. Alright please make it fast. I don't feel comfortable here at this time. Sure. Oh I'm running late for work. I have to run. 
God, I woke up so late, I didn't even have time to pray before leaving home this morning. This movie series I've been seeing lately, just has me glued to the TV till almost all the night is spent, thank God I made time to work on my presentation at work this morning. Instead of me to even sleep as soon as I'm done seeing the movie series, I'd still spend time scrolling through the internet till I drift off to sleep. Hopefully I'd make it to work before resumption time. I think I can just say a short prayer now as I drive, to make up for my morning devotion. God in heaven, thank you for today. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus today. Amen. That's the CEO calling, I think it's time for the quarterly scheduled financial report meeting with him and the finance department. I need to pause my work for now and report at the conference room right away. Miss Hannah, that was an impressive presentation. So now to the crux of today's meeting with your department, how are our financials looking this quarter? Sir, I've prepared a comprehensive report. Overall, we're on track with our budget, but we have some areas that need attention. Our revenue is slightly below projections due to market fluctuations. I see. What about our expenses? Are we managing costs effectively? We've been diligent in cost management, but there have been unexpected increases in production costs due to supply chain disruptions. We're closely monitoring this and exploring ways to mitigate the impact. Are there any upcoming financial challenges we should be aware of? Yes. We're keeping a close eye on rising interest rates, which could affect our debt service costs. Additionally, our R&D investments are increasing, which may impact short-term profitability but can lead to long-term growth. That's important for our future. What about our cash flow? Cash flow remains stable, but we're focusing on optimizing working capital to ensure we have the liquidity needed for strategic initiatives and to weather any unexpected financial challenges. Thank you for the update. Let's work together to address these challenges and ensure the company's financial health remains strong. Keep me updated on any developments. Absolutely, sir. I'll continue to closely monitor our finances and keep you informed of any significant changes or opportunities. Miss Hannah, your impact on the finances of this company since you began to head the finance department has been invaluable. I must commend your hard work, foresight, with and most importantly integrity in the management of the company finance. You and your team are doing a great job. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Hannah. Can we talk for a moment? Good morning, Valerie. Of course. What's on your mind? Well, I've noticed that you always seem to get promoted and receive so much praise from the CEO. It's hard not to feel a bit jealous, to be honest. I appreciate your honesty. I understand how it might seem that way. But it's not just luck. I've been putting in a lot of extra hours, taking on challenging projects, and constantly learning to improve my skills. I see, so it's about your dedication and hard work. Absolutely. It's not about being the CEO's favorite. I strive to excel in my role and contribute to the company's success. If you have career goals, I'm here to support you in any way I can. Thanks for understanding, and I appreciate your offer to help. I guess I need to focus on my own growth and contributions rather than comparing myself to others. That's a great mindset. We're a team, and I believe we can all achieve success through dedication and continuous improvement. If you ever want advice or guidance, don't hesitate to reach out. I sure will. Hey Valerie. Hey Kate. I overheard your discussion with Hannah some moments ago. You did? Yeah. Everything she told you are lies. It's not her hard work that makes her the CEO's favorite. Aren't we all also hardworking? Really? Yeah. You know some of us have been in this company for a long time. In fact, Hannah got this job about seven years after I began working here, so believe what I am about to tell you. What is that? Hannah is having a romantic affair with the CEO reason why she is his favorite staff. Oh no. Hannah is a Christian and with the way she carries herself with dignity, I don't think she would get involved in such dirt. Besides, the CEO is a happily married man. You're so naive. Rumor even has it that she has been diverting the company's funds into her personal account. It just hasn't been verified because of how neatly she's been cleaning up her acts. I pray she gets exposed soon. Kate, that's so ridiculous. I'm done with this conversation please. If Hannah were to be here, you wouldn't be saying these in her presence isn't it? Whatever. Good day Kate. Hey Hannah. How is work going today? 
Very well, Kate. How is it coming with you two? Very well, too. I'm headed to the fifth floor for my team's meeting. You must be going to the CEO's office, right? Not at all. I'm going to the cafeteria for lunch. Uh-oh, it's lunchtime. What a day. Work was so tiring today. And oh, Kate, what's with her always talking about me going to the CEO whenever she runs into me at the office? It's always CEO this, CEO that, CEO. CEO, CEO, wait, wait, wait. I remember faintly that I saw her and Fred in my dream overnight. I can't remember the dream. I wonder what it is about. Oh well, I can't wait to be home, take some rest and see a movie before I go to bed tonight. Who could be calling me? Oh it's my sister, why could Abigail be calling me now? Let me take the call. Hey Abby, how are you doing? Guess what Hannah? I'm too tired to guess, please spill the beans. I'm in town, I arrived at the airport some 10 minutes ago. Wow, what a pleasant surprise. Abby, why didn't you inform me? Well, I wanted it to be a surprise. Silly you, I was headed home from work, but I'd be making a turn now towards the airport road to come pick you up at the airport. Thank you sis, you are the best. Abigail, you have not the slightest idea how happy I am that you're around. Living alone can be so boring and lonely. Ah, I'm so happy to see you too. It's been a while, I miss sorely, the days we lived together with dad, mum and our other siblings, before everyone grew up and left home. Oh don't make me nostalgic. I miss those days too. How is dad and mum? They are doing fine. They miss you a lot. I miss them too. I hope this would not be like those your regular short visits. No sister, I'd be here for the next three months. Wow, really? How is that? What about work? I am on sabbatical leave at the university where I work. Spending three months with you I thought, shouldn't be a bad idea. Oh my god, this surprise is even way pleasant than I thought initially. This is so thoughtful of you Abigail, I'm so grateful. It's my pleasure sis. Good morning Hannah, you're set for work. Good morning Abby, yes I am. What do you plan to do today? I'd spend the day, studying my Bible and spending time to pray. I also came here on a spiritual retreat. Oh that's nice. You came to bed really late last night. Yeah. I was seeing a movie. Oh okay. Are you leaving right now? Yes right away, so I don't get to work late. Sis, I noticed you didn't pray this morning. Will you step out of the house without praying? I woke up late and couldn't get time to pray. But I'd pray in the car on my way to work. That's not so good. I know darling. I gotta run now. See you later in the day. Alright, have a nice day. You too. Abby, this feels so good. You know, taking a walk on Saturday morning, thereafter sitting here at this beautiful park and soaking in the morning sun. I didn't even know there were beautiful parks as this in my neighborhood. Yes Hannah, it feels really good. I discovered this park on one of my morning prayer walks. It has become a very nice and serene place for me to come pray, study and meditate, I'm here almost all day when you're at work. How nice. I guess you didn't know about the park, because you're out at work almost all day and indoor seeing movies in the evenings and throughout the weekends. You should take walks often, sitting in front of the computer at work and then coming home to sit in front of the TV is too much screen exposure for you. I'm not sure. How I can do without watching a lot of movies, I work so hard, that is the only thing I do to unwind and relax. Isn't taking a walk and sitting at the park relaxing as well? Yay kinda. I just remembered I wanted to ask you about something. You were talking from your sleep last night, were you having a dream? Really, you know I am just remembering now that I had a dream overnight but I can't remember the dream. You see Abigail, I dream almost every night but I don't remember anything when I wake up in the morning. Some of them appear very important, but no matter how hard I try, I don't remember. That's serious. What have you done about it? Nothing really. I just try to rack my head to remember and when I don't, I move on with my life. That is so wrong Hannah and dangerous too. Dreams are very important and not to be taken lightly, because through them, God can show us his plans and also reveal the enemy's plan against our lives. Oh well. Dot but now that I don't remember, what am I supposed to do? 
How about cutting down the time you spend seeing movies and on social media? Don't be ridiculous. What have these got to do with remembering my dreams? A lot. A whole lot, Hannah. Okay. How? Like I said, God speaks to us through our dreams, this is one of the ways to hear His voice. It's easier to hear the voice of when we are full of the Word of God and have sown into our spirits by spending quality time in His presence. Hannah in the short time I have spent with you, I have noticed how you don't spend time reading and studying your Bible and praying or worshipping. You don't make quality time to spend with God in the day, it might make it hard for you to hear His voice in the night when you sleep or at any time even. Really? Yes sis. Everything we do to build our spirit man, that is, praying, fasting, studying the Bible, meditating on the Word of God, worshipping and staying in God's presence, enhances how well we can hear God, they sharpen our spiritual receptors, making us more sensitive and by so doing we will not miss any spiritual signals, instructions or warnings. On the other hand, when we sow to our flesh by doing all the activities that gratify our flesh, they only profit our flesh and senses and they in turn weaken our spirit man, such that we then find it hard to hear God. I don't understand. Do you now mean, it is wrong to watch movies, use social media and do every other thing that is not a spiritual activity? Not at all sis, that would mean, we would not even eat nor have our baths again. Exactly. But, we should pay more attention to the things that enhance our spirituality, because we are spirits, we just have our bodies as a portal to connect with the earth realm. The things that enhance our true essence as spirits should take top place and the most place. That means more time in the Bible than time on social media, more time in prayers than time watching movies and so on. It's not the deep Abbey. Besides, it's not like I don't talk to God at all. I usually say a word or two of prayer as I drive to work. God wants first place in your life Hannah. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, says to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, then every other thing would be added unto you. Give God first place by giving him time in the morning before stepping out of the house. It's even dangerous to leave home in the morning without praying or be prayerless, the world is wicked, the wicked one is always scheming and planning against us, it is in the place of prayers, we return the attacks back and walk in victory. Our angels are more active and vibrant too, when we are prayerful and full of God's word. I wake up late and really tired, virtually every morning, I'm rushing out of the house so I won't be late to work. Hannah, quit the late night movies, cut down on time on social media so you can rest enough to spend time praying at midnight or in the morning before leaving home. Try develop a template for your weeks and days that will favor your spiritual life. We should plan our lives around our time with God and spiritual activities, instead of squeezing out time out of our activities for God. Just try these things and see how you are able to remember your dreams again and hear God clearly by whatever means He chooses to speak with you. I know you unwind with movies, but do it with moderation, there are even people that choose to cut it all out completely when it begins to affect their spiritual life. You can unwind in God's presence too, prayer is rest, studying is rest, worshipping is rest, fellowship with God is rest. Alright Pastor Mrs. Dot but I have a series one have to finish this weekend, so when I'm done and can then follow your advice. I wish you could heed as soon as possible. I'm hungry Abigail. Let's be on our way home now. Alright then. Good morning sir, you called for me. Yes Miss Hannah, we have a serious issue to address. The recent audit has uncovered unauthorized withdrawals of company funds into an unknown account. Can you explain what's going on? I am equally concerned about this discovery. I wasn't aware of these transactions until the audit brought them to light. It appears someone within the company has been diverting funds without proper authorization. This is a breach of trust and a potential threat to our financial stability. Do we have any leads on who might be responsible for these withdrawals? We're working closely with our audit team to trace the transactions and identify the source. I had a meeting with Fred from the audit unit this morning and him and his team are on it sir. It might take some time, but we are committed to getting to the bottom of this. In the meantime, we need to take immediate steps to secure our finances and prevent further unauthorized access. Please work with IT and legal to strengthen our financial security protocols. Agreed, sir. We'll implement enhanced security measures and keep you updated on the progress of the investigation. 
Also, I believe it's essential to involve law enforcement if necessary. We can't let this breach of trust go unpunished. I'll coordinate with legal and ensure we take the appropriate legal actions if needed. We'll leave no stone unturned to resolve this issue. You may leave now. I have a meeting with Mr. Fred from the audit unit. All right, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Fred. I've reviewed the audit findings, and I must say, they are deeply concerning. It appears that a significant amount of company funds have been withdrawn into an unknown account. Yes, sir. It came as a rude shock, but from the investigations so far, evidence points to our head of finance, Miss Hanna. What? No way. Miss Hanna has head finance for years with integrity. I am as shocked as you are, sir, and the evidence is substantial. We've uncovered multiple invoices with the head of finance's signature authorizing these transactions. It's a clear breach of trust. This is a critical situation. I want to ensure that we handle it appropriately. First, let's ensure all the evidence is secure and confidential. Then, we need to involve legal counsel to guide us on the best course of action. I've already secured all the evidence, and I'll make sure it remains confidential. I'll also contact our legal team immediately. Additionally, I think it's crucial that we suspend the head of finance pending the outcome of the investigation to prevent any further unauthorized transactions. We must act swiftly but also fairly. I'll coordinate with HR to initiate the suspension process immediately. We should also consider bringing in an external forensic auditor to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure impartiality and also involve the police. That's a wise decision, Mr. Fred. We need to get to the bottom of this and protect the company's financial integrity. Keep me updated on the progress, and let's handle this with the utmost discretion and professionalism. Absolutely, sir. I'll keep you informed of every development, and we'll work diligently to resolve this matter. Abigail, I didn't do it, believe me. The evidences are against me and I have no alibi, no way to prove that I am innocent but believe me, I am. Oh no, Hannah my sister, God forbid that I should think you did it. I know you can never cheat on anyone, let alone steal. You don't have to tell me, I know you are innocent. Something is not adding up and I will take it to the Lord in prayers. I didn't even think you'd be detained just like that. The police came to pick me up from the office right after I got my letter of suspension from work. I was told I'd only be interrogated and released, but upon interrogation, they put me in the cell and said I'd remain here, while investigation continues before the matter goes to court. This is sad. To think that you left innocently for work this morning not knowing what was ahead. Abby, could God be punishing me because I didn't pray before leaving home in the morning? Don't think that way please Hannah. God is not like that. My concern now is the kind of trouble you're in. If this matter gets to court and it doesn't favor you, you go to jail for something you know nothing about. Abby, I'm finished. No no no, you're not. As long as God is on the throne, you will come out victorious. This is apparently blackmail and he will arise and judge those who are behind this. My time is up, I was given only a few minutes to see you. I'd be praying for your release and vindication too. Please try as much as you can to talk to God while you're here. He is your father and he will show you mercy. Thank you, Abby. You're welcome, Hannah. Bye. Bye. Valerie, didn't I tell you the other day about the rumor of Hannah diverting company funds into a personal account? Do you believe now? You truly did. I still find it hard to believe, Hannah looks too decent to do something like that. Well, it is not hard to believe for those of us who have been here for years, and we know her true ugly character. So how about the other part of the rumor of her having an affair with the CEO? Doesn't that make the CEO an accomplice? Really? She's having an affair with the CEO. Really? Were you not the one who told me so? Same day you said she was stealing company money. Hey God. I never told you that please. I'm out of here. Wow. This Kate lady is bad company. I need to run from her. Psalms 35. Plead my sister's cause, O Lord, with them that strive with her. Fight against them that fight against her. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for her help. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute her, say unto her soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my sister's soul, let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise her hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. 
For without cause have they hid for Hannah their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for her soul. Let destruction come upon them at unawares, and let their net that they hath hid catch themselves, into that very destruction let them fall. And our soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All our bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him, yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up, they laid to Hannah's charge things that she knew not. They rewarded her evil for good to the spoiling of her soul. In her adversity they rejoiced, and gathered themselves together, yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against her, and she knew it not, they did tear her, and ceased not, with hypocritical mockers and feasts, they gnashed upon her with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue her soul from their destructions, her darling from the lions. We will give thee thanks in the great congregation, we will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are Hannah's enemies wrongfully rejoice over her, neither let them wink with the eye that hate Hannah without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against Hannah, and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence, O Lord, be not far from Hannah. Stir up thyself, and awake to her judgment, even unto her cause, my God and my Lord. Judge us, O Lord my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over us. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it, let them not say, We have swallowed Hannah up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at Hannah's hurt, let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against her. Let them shout for joy, and be glad, that favor her righteous cause, yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Hannah, I am the angel sent to fight your battles. I appeared to you some weeks ago, to warn you of the plot against you at work, so you could pray, but unfortunately you didn't even remember because your spirit man was suppressed by much fleshly pleasures. God has heard your prayers since you got in the cell and he has heard the prayers of Abigail your sister over you and as those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, God has arisen to your salvation. All your enemies will fall into the destruction that they planned for you. Hannah, she that loves pleasures is dead while she lives, take heed from henceforth that you do not allow both the pleasures and cares of this life to choke out God's voice in your life. Peace. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. You're so merciful. Wow, I remembered my dream, for the first time in a long time. So God had even warned me before this whole problem came up. Wow, ah uh ah, -uh. that must have been the dream I was trying to remember, where an angel appeared to tell me something I couldn't remember when I woke up and I just let it pass like that. God I'm so grateful to you for answering my prayers and Abby's. Abigail was right about why I was forgetting my dreams. The angel mentioned it too. Thank you Lord for the revelation. Miss Kate, is everything alright? What brings you to my office early this morning? Good morning sir. I'm afraid sir, please forgive me. I'm lost Miss Kate, afraid of what? Forgive you for what? Sir I came to confess. Hannah is innocent of the crime that she is currently being held in police detention and was suspended for. How do you mean? There are evidences against her. Sir she was blackmailed. It was Mr. Fred that sold me the idea of blackmailing her sir. He hacked into her personal workplace account and had access to her digital signature which he used to sign all those invoices carrying her signature. He withdrew all the money into a person account that is not traceable with the help of his friend who works at a bank. Fred, myself, and the friend shared the money sir. What? Are you aware that what you are saying can land you in jail? Are you sure of this? Yes sir. I have evidences of the chats between Fred and I we hate Hannah, she keeps getting promoted and favored, meanwhile we whom she met here have not gotten as much promotions as her. Oh my god, so why did you come to confess seeing it will land you in trouble? Fear sir. I suddenly lost my peace over the last two days. It's a deep fear I can't explain it and I have had terrifying nightmares concerning this sir. Wow, this is unbelievable, you and Fred must face the full wrath of the law. I'd call the police right away. Please sir. Why are you begging? You came here yourself to confess. 
Besides, you had the guts to treat another person so cruelly, you must also face the cruelty of the law. Hello security. Please pick up Mr. Fred of the audit unit and come get Miss Kate right away from my office. The police will be here to get him shortly. Kate, you see where your flippant tongue has landed us. What came over you? Why did you snitch on me? Excuse me Fred. I didn't snitch on you. I am involved in this too. You must be out of your mind Kate. Gosh, why did I involve you in this at all? Are you aware of the charges that will be laid against us in court? We'd be going to jail. I know. I was afraid. I don't know what came over me for real. I was done speaking with the CEO before I realized the magnitude of what I was doing. It was as though the fear put me under a spell. This is crazy. I just wish I didn't involve you. Maybe you should rather wish we didn't blackmail Hannah in the first place. Shut up Kate. You have no point. Shut up too. Gosh. You don't even feel remorseful. Didn't I tell you right from the start that you were taking things too far with your stupid and wicked plan? I should have known how foolish you are from time. Hannah darling, did you rest well overnight? Yes, Abby. The first good night rest I had in a really long time. I'm always up seeing a movie till late in the night and in the last one week I was sleeping in a cell. That was worse. I know right. I'm so glad you're back home now. Thank you so much Abby. You stood by me both physically and spiritually. What would I have done without you in this season of my life? Your coming over was so timely and is a huge blessing to me. What are sisters for? It was the least I could do Hannah. Abby, I had an encounter one of the nights at the cell after I prayed and slept off. An angel appeared in my dream, he affirmed what you told me the other day at the park on how the time I spent with movies, social media and fleshly pleasures made me deaf to the voice of God and couldn't remember my dreams. Really? God is so merciful. Oh yes he is. You know I wondered why God allowed the incidents at the office to happen to me, I felt betrayed by God, but from what the angel said to me in that dream, God had told me about it before it happened, but I forgot the dream. I also remember that I had a dream about Kate and Fred sometime too, that didn't seem good but I didn't remember the details of the dream and I just pushed it aside. Yes Abby, God is a faithful God, he forewarns us many times of things ahead, if we can only hear his voice and obey. Oh so true Abby, I'd like to ask you a question though. Please go ahead. Aren't there people who are spiritually alert and still forget the dreams? I'm just wondering. That's a good question. True there are people who might be spiritually alert and still forget their dreams. It's a manipulation of the enemy to prevent them from either seeing the things God has planned for them that they need to pray about to come to pass, or to launch an attack on them and catch them at unawares. What to do in such instance is to increase spiritual intensity, take a fast, spend more time in scriptures, that is, reading, studying and meditation and surround yourself with worship. Meanwhile as soon as you wake up from a dream you forgot and you think it's important, don't just ignore it. Pray in the spirit about it, the Holy Ghost can address it and any other issue while you pray. Remember that Romans chapter 8 verses 26 to 27 says, Likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Oh. I see the importance of a buoyant prayer life, from that scripture you have just shared from Romans. Abby you are a blessing, I wish you'd never leave. I'm glad God brought me here at the right time. Thank God you were given a month of rest at work to compensate for the stress you have just gone through, we'd get a lot of time together, to study, pray and also have fun. That I am so grateful for. Everything worked out for my good. I also got a financial compensation from the boss and a salary raise. What the devil planned for evil turned out for my good. Hallelujah. God is so good. Congratulations Hannah. Thank you Abigail.